Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how I accomplished my four week music video project. Uh, this time with my music video, I wanted to focus more on angles, lighting, transitions, and just editing in general. Um, we can start with how uh, the transitions and the angles that I use. One of my favorite transitions was around this part. I was. That was one of my favorite transitions just because um, when I was filming I was just like maybe this might be a good transition and um, when you're thinking about transitions you're kind of like planning ahead on how you want it to look and so that was I was also learning to plan ahead with my video. Um, Angle-wise, uh, I got these train shots, and they're very hard, hard to make just because the train was really shaky and it was hard to just stay stable, but I did get some good shots of being on the train and just having that close-up of the hand holding on and blurred out the background. Um, also, I there's a lot where I just kind of moved back and I was walking around and there was a lot of like 360 shots like this one it didn't show the whole thing but there was a lot of like moving around while I was filming this and that went along with just like getting different angles and such um, this one shot deals more with lighting and this one was one of my favorites just because it got brighter as I went to his face and as I moved around, it started dark and it just got lighter. Um, I did use a reflector at uh, this part when he was opening his eyes just because where we were at, it was kind of like a dark area and I was able to use the reflector and play around with it just to get the lighting that I wanted. Um, here's another light shot as he's kind of walking down the stairs. Um, that, that was the more along with the filming part. So the editing part, I got to learn something new. It was pretty fun. Um, I learned how to just get spots of color. And I was using color match throughout the video, but if you want to like do like a spot of color like I did right here, you have to um, use the original uh, color of the film and do like have a color correction it doesn't have to be big but I just did something small so I could get to this and I used a shape mask and maybe I can get it to Alright, so you could see the board around it. So what I did was I just made it fit around that one window and I went to color board and I just, I didn't do anything inside but out, what you want to do is you want to click outside and that's where I made the rest of the background black and white and once like you make it the color you want, I realized that it like would move along to wherever it was. So I had, I started working with keyframes and I went along and moved it each part, as you can see. And there were, there were times that it was a bit frustrating because it just went all over the place, but I was able to just get it down where I'd like it to go. And actually, it turned out pretty well. You can look at the shot real quick. And I also used that. Um, it was shape mask. I also used that shape mask on his eyes right over here. And I thought it turned out pretty well. Um, also, with the transition back here. Editing wise, I played around with it and I ended up playing this film right here back, this part right here backwards, um, just to fit it in with like 
when I went behind the pole and just to make it look better. Um, right here I also played it backwards as he comes back. But, yep. This was one of another like 360 shot that I took that where I went around and up here I actually did put the reflector up here in one of my videos to see if I could get some lighting down and it didn't really play as well but we did try to put it at the bottom and we got some nice lighting there um, this was another just angle shot that I really liked and I'm really proud of how this turned out and I'm excited to make more. Thanks for watching.